If the glove don't fit, then you must acquit, Jay. That's or get a good, Are we crooked? Get a good lawyer. We look a little crooked. You're crooked. Yeah. I don't know. No, whatever. I should have done that before we started the show. But hey, it started and we're crooked. Deal with it. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. Well, we both uh, lean this way. That's alright, whatever. We're here and we ain't going nowhere. We're still on the internet, guy. They haven't kicked us off the internet, guy. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. Because we're fat boys for life. Yo, I'd like to just quickly say, shout out <sighs> shout out those Toronto Maple Leafs. Why? I don't know. Because they're my team, guy. I know. Like I told you, I can't stop cheering for my team. They're, they're, they're heart-wrenching. They are heart-wrenching. You know? That's the best way to think. They, I've been a Leafs fan since, like, 1980. Because that's when I was about three. Right? And my dad told me, you're a Leaf fan. Because in order yeah. to... In order to like fit in in the area where I was in, where there's a lot of like white kids and all that stuff, I'm yeah. the only yeah. little colored person in the area. Yeah, they're like Leafs. Yeah, but he was like, you have to be able to talk hockey and stuff like that. And hockey night in Canada was basically only the Leafs, right? Back then, you couldn't get every single game that you wanted to see in maybe. the thing. The only time that came was the playoffs. Right? Maybe maybe Montreal, we would get Montreal. No, but not so much. Not even that was that would come after. You'd always get you'd always oh, get yeah, the Leafs I, game. Yeah, yeah. So Leafs game at seven. Yeah. And maybe the Montreal game at like you know like later in the evening, or maybe a Vancouver game because it's later on that coast than it is on the other coast, right? Yep. But uh, on like on on the east side of where we are, I've been a Leafs fan since 1980, and I've been disappointed since, since 1980. Feel sorry for you. I know you should feel sorry for me. I, I do feel sorry for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up doing. I'm, I'm a gonna, Detroit. Yo, this guy. Detroit. See, what? See, in your life, the uh, the Red Wings have had many, many victories and yes. have many superstars, and yes, you've had a lot of reason to cheer. Of course, in your lifetime. Yes, I uh, unlike yourself, I, I haven't. Nothing. But we celebrate <laughs> mediocrity like I no know. other. You can't, you can't tell me that we don't celebrate like, our amazing. Doug Gilmore's of the world. We made the playoffs! You know? Yeah! And we go out first round. <laughs> yeah! I mean, we made it to a finals once, didn't we? When? And Gretzky, didn't Gretzky whoop our ass in, when he was on the Kings or something? No. no? I think... or, is that, is that in a, or is that like the semifinals? No. We might have made it. You know what? It all blurs together. You know what? It doesn't matter. No, I do remember. I really think it doesn't make a difference. That the last chance that we could have made... A finals or Gretzky, anything. Gretzky put us out. But here's the joke. And he was on the Kings at that time. He was on the Kings. Cheers, by the way. Cheers so, for Folgers. It's Folgers in, in your cup. cup. So how it goes is, I think Gretzky, like, high stick somebody. He did something that he should have got um, a penalty, a major penalty, which would be a game misconduct yeah. or it'd be like a four-minute penalty. Yeah. And they called nothing. Oh, yeah. And then... After they <coughs> called nothing on <coughs> Gretzky's penalty, he scored on us. Yeah, from behind the net. Yes. He was behind the net. I remember him behind the net doing all of his Gretzky stuff. Yeah. And then, like, nobody did anything. It was just like they left him there. They, they left the greatest passer and scorer in the game yeah. just to, like, chill by himself behind the net. And he came out and set some guy up yes. absolutely perfectly. And I, he lost. Yeah, I think he high sticks somebody. About whatever. And then the Leafs. They let him get away yeah. with it. Yes, I'm. I'm going with the game six win. Let's go Leafs. This guy, he, the, he's like, no, it's not happening. You know, Davin, how's it going, bro? I'll believe it when I see it. Davin, aren't Davin? Aren't you? Aren't you from out west? The Canucks are doing real good. Yeah. Yo, the next series, I hope the Canucks win because it'll be Edmonton Canucks. Like, what a series that's Ooh. gonna be. I'm already looking forward to anything but the Leafs. You know? Yeah, yo, we're feeling good, Davin. It's good to see you, bro. Um, and yeah, we should just bang off the, the regular YouTube stuff that we're supposed to say. Go ahead. You know, we got to... Uh, what am I supposed to say? What do you want to like? Oh, remember! Yeah, subscribe. remember to give your boys a like, a subscribe. Tell your mama. Hit the bell. Tell your mama. Tell, share this. Tell your baby mama. Uh, tell your side piece. Yo, like, as usual, go to BigTings.com and check out the Jay and Dave merch and the Big Things merch. Yep. The best best way to support the channel is to go grab yourselves some Johnny Two Stops merch or any J and Dave merch that's in there. That's right. Or some of the shoes or anything. Go, just go, just check go. it out. I bet you you'll find something you'll like. Yeah. 
you go there and it's all designed by this genius right here so go there and well some of this at least i had some in i was in with some of the sayings i might have made up a few of the sayings yes jade made up all the designs yeah point is two in the bush go there. yeah go there find something buy it it's the best way to support the channel we thank everybody who has been buying uh and we hope you guys continue to purchase Jay and Dave merch at BigThings.com. B-I-G-T-I-N-G-Z dot com. That's right. For all your Jay and Dave merch. Anyhow, let's get the show started. Where are we starting today, Jay? What do you think? <sighs> Dave. Pet peeves? Let me see. Are yeah. We, are we going to start with pet yeah, peeves? Yeah, we can start with pet peeves. Let me just read quickly what Davin is saying here. He's like, I feel illegal because I'm a Habs fan, but I'm actually rooting for Toronto right now. Guys, okay. listen. I, uh... I'm not the type of Leafs fan. Just let me just throw this real quick in that I'm not the type of Leafs fan that like won't cheer for the Habs if the Leafs are not in. You know what I mean? Like I know that's sacrilege in terms of thing. The, the only team that really gets me like that is Boston. Because they Who, take, take us out every year. Yeah, because Boston is just well. It's probably more because Brad Marchand and them. Because they take us out every yeah, year. And I would love Mar, but I didn't feel like that before before Marchand was on the team. You know, like, fuck, Habs have beaten us how many times? But, but I don't feel like that about the Habs. Yeah, they got the most, you know, Stanley Cups. Yeah, but the Boston just... I am not I'm not mad at anybody who cheers for the Leafs, too. I'm not mad at any Leafs fan who cheers for somebody else. Because yeah. I've been cheering for somebody else for my whole life. Yeah, because the Leafs have made so sucked. far, and then they stop. They right? suck. I'm going to do the Vancouver lean soon. Like we call it the Vancouver <laughs> lean. You know, like, what, what is the Vancouver lean? Should I show them behind here? I like, right, I got to show them. They, they got to know what you're talking this about. This is me after game six tonight. I'm just going to be there like this. Are you okay, Dave? <laughs> you see, he does it, but he doesn't do it that well. Well, because I'm too Could, fat, man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> My belly when gets in the way. Do, when they do it, they're literally like yeah. When when inside their... in Vancouver on that on that block, whatever the block is called, uh, Hastings. 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 On that block is a it's a block where there's a lot of drugs and a lot of yeah, a lot of dealers and a lot of people who are using. And when they do that lean, they literally fold in half and they're almost like, bent over. It looks like it looks like six twenty nine on your clock. You know, like on a clock when it's six twenty nine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, I. Do. That's what it looks like, right? Uh, and they're bent uh, uh, just like right there. I can't do it because my belly's too big. Because leave too, me alone. You're too fat. Uh, yeah, that's that's another way to say it. You're too fat. No, that's that, that's one way to put it. Yes. Anyhow, <laughs> let's jump. Let's jump. Let's 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 change topics and jump into our pet peeves. Okay. Do you want to go first? Uh, what do you want me to go first? I can you, go first. You go first. You go first. You know who? You know what? I, <laughs> you know who my pet peeve is? Who? The, the leaves. These motherfuckers. Yo. Who get me every year, thinking that they're doing so good, and they went and they got Bertuzzi and Domi and uh, and the black flim dude. That uh, that like yo, they have some tough dudes on the team yes. this year. They got Reeves. They got some Reeves. They got some grit. Like they really do. But this is the problem I have with Leafs. So they got all this offense, they got this grit, yeah. and then they're deep in their and their goalies aren't the greatest. They're not. I like Wall though. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel like they should have given Wall a chance earlier in this series. I, I thought I, I know that's not with their best goal. And I know, like, he, but but Wall is the future. Wall is the dude who's supposed to be the next one. He's huge and technical. Yes, go Leafs. Let's go to Game Seven. Yes, I like that goal strike. I'm with you, bro. Yeah. And oh, Davin's saying something about the Jays too. And, Anyway, we'll get back to that. Let me finish my pet peeve. The fucking Leafs. Every fucking year. And then, you know, the, the, the I know they won last game and to, to make it come to this game. But I'm talking about the game before. They were on the bench all fucking, like, arguing. Mitch Marner's whipping his gloves around. Fighting and they're each like, other. They're yeah. sort of like, you can see you can see Nylander saying, shoot the fucking puck. And I agree with Nylander. Nylander is the only one on the team that doesn't seem to ever piss me off. The other guys, do I know Austin Matthews almost scored 70 this year and stuff like that, but it's the way they move, the way they move around, and it's the way they live their life, and the, it's, it's everything about them that well, sort of no. pisses me off. No, listen to, listen to my reasoning. Okay. I was listening. To Andrew Raycroft is a goalie from Boston, and he was on the teams that beat the Leafs all those fucking times, right? And listening to him on a radio show, he was like, you know why Boston 
has the least number? He goes, because everybody on fucking Boston, it's all about hockey. And they don't give a fuck who likes them. They don't give a fuck who thing. I'm talking way back to the fucking, the big six foot nine fucking defenseman days and Brad Marchand. Chara. Chara. And like, and then they had Bergeron. And these, and these, these guys were hockey day and night. That's all they wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. Brad Marchand has perfected his way of pissing people off and slipping penalties so he didn't get them, but then you get the penalty. Brad, so, but Brad Marchand is Dennis Rodman. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> he, he is the absolute best at what he does. Provoking. And he'll fucking come on the power play and score the goal, right? He is... He, <laughs> and then come on the ice and fight you. And, yeah, and then, but then, and then walk by the bench and say, hey, 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 and like say something to you. But yeah. the, my point is, they are the they are hockey, hockey, hockey day and night. All I ever see, like... Mitch Marner and his fucking Jeep and doing commercials and it's like uh, Austin Matthews with Justin Bieber hanging out at the fucking concert doing this, whatever. You know what I mean? Like you, you see these things yeah. and you, but, and it's almost like they, they care a little bit because they're young. They care about their public perception. They care about their, their, like what it looks like. They care to sort of be around yeah. cool people and do, doing this and doing that. You don't see that shit with anybody from Boston or anything like that. And yeah. they don't give a fuck. And it, I think, that's the downfall of the Leafs, and it will be forever. Like they're, I, I can't say that they're not, because Austin Matthews still scored almost seventy goals, and yeah, they're doing great. Like I mean, they're, they're, they, what they do is, I think they rely so much on their talent that they feel like they don't have to try so hard, and it shows. Practice? Are we talking about practice? Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, Iverson. But you know, but yeah. but you know, but you understand what I'm what I'm saying, right? Well, I understand what you're saying because. When I look at other series, yeah. and then I look at our series, it's like, when you look at another team, two teams play, they're high energy, they're going, going back and forth, right they're flying, and then when you look at our series, Boston's the only team flying. It's like, these guys are so sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you can't win it, uh, you can't win any championship if you're not if you're on not, the same page. Not, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, this is playoffs, you gotta kick into high gear, and I just feel the least, yep. they're still playing regular season. It's yeah. like, yeah, you're good and ready for season, but, but this think, is playoffs. Yeah, and they think... They playoffs! Think, playoffs? Playoffs? Playoffs! <laughs> but they think... That, I don't... The, uh, people know those references? Those are good references, guys. But, um... <laughs> I I think the Leafs feel like they're so young and so talented and so high-paid that their talent will just get them. And they don't have to work as hard. Like, Boston looks like they're oh. working... Every they're time. not gonna be together forever, like yo. But but do you not feel like that's what they they, they think? Like or even not even if that's or they rely on too much instead of the talent. Of, yeah, they rely instead on instead of talent. like, hey, let's play our asses off. Like, you know what the problem I have? See, see Boston when they're on their I power hyped play. Him up. I hyped them up too. When they're on the power play, n- there's no time for the Leafs to set up. Yeah, never. They're like when they pass, someone's on them, and it's like I would be like, oh my god, someone's open. But the problem is. Or the problem, but the thing is with them, yeah, is that it doesn't matter. They follow the puck, so whoever gets it, ruins on them. Yeah, yeah. When we're in a power play, we set up a nice little box. Hey, no, but you know, set up for your shot. I know you were looking for that one timer. Go ahead and take it. And all the Boston guys lay down in front of it, and the, and the puck never makes it to the net because it's so predictable what we're doing. Yeah, you know what? That I, on to that point, what happens with the least power play is that Boston is. On them, guy. Like that's what I'm saying. Like when the Leafs have a power play, they can't set up that stupid that's, thing that they want to do. That's Boston it. is on their, their asses. asses, like a dirty butt, guy. They're on their ass. They, Wherever like, the they puck goes, stink. somebody goes. They could smell their assholes There's, that they're so on them. Like they and they, and they could never get the thing set up. N- a, they can't even get into the zone. It is, you know how they do that? Nobody skate, in front of the net. You eh? know how they do that? Skate up and then they always drop the puck back. Like so, the Leafs. This is what the Leafs do. The defenseman starts up, he goes up, goes up, goes up, drops the puck back for the next guy, and then starts going up and run into a wall of the Boston dudes. And they can't even make it. So they end up having to dump it, and then the Boston has a designated guy that jumps in and shoots it back up. Like, it's a, it's, it's... All the time. I, I know, I've already scouted it out and showed you what the deficiency is. They need, yes. they need to put Nylander on the top thing and say, yo, Nylander, skate it in. Well, not even Don't Nylander. dump it in. No. Fucking stick handle around the best one is Marner. Marner is the best stiff handle on the team. 
But he's still... He, yo, is he so much turnovers he has this playoffs? Because... He keeps turning the fucking puck over. I know he keeps turning it over, but it's not his fault because they're running that same stupid play that you're I'm talking not sure. about. And I seen it in the very first series. Yeah. So, Matthews likes to one-timer it from the up. little dot hash mark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? And I That's watched... The, spot, the Brett Hall spot. And I watched Boston when their power play. It's like, when he did that... The goalie knew what he was doing. Mm-hmm. The defenseman knew what they were doing, and they all every time he got there, he shifted. They just shifted, yeah. and they wrecked that whole play. And they blocked his yeah. They blocked blocked it. it. They had and two then, guys laying down in front to block that shot. Yeah. So it's like that's not working. Yeah. Try something else. Right. You're they so fu- have, you're so fucking skilled. Try something different. But man. they but that's a problem. From game one, you realize hey, they know what we do on a power play. Change it up. No. You keep doing the same thing. And what makes it worse is by game four, game five, it's like Boston is just like corner, top, corner. Yep. We, we don't even have to think. We know yeah. you, you we know like your muscle play. Memory now. Muscle memory We know your play. Yeah. Matthews, you know, block in front of the net. Like, it's it's crazy. When they're on the power play, there's not one Boston guy that's in front of the net. They're all on players. It, and they let their goalie see where the shot's coming from. He's making great saves, and then the players aren't letting them set up, so they don't even get a shot. You know how many power plays we've had zero shots on? And it's like, that's unheard of. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Will. It's unheard of. It makes me angry. Like, I can coach better than these guys. It's like, yo, change it up. You know? And Jay was a hockey player for years, so he knows what he's talking about. Change it up. Yo, listen, 